Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I've tried to make this video quite a few times and I think I've finally come to a conclusion of sitting down, giving you a brief check-in and then doing separate videos, kind of going into different subjects that are happening in my life right now. I just wanna say I acknowledge the fact that I went completely MIA and just disappeared off the internet for months and there's a reason for that. I'm gonna go a little bit deeper in a separate video but just in a nutshell, I kind of mildly lost myself and when I say that, I mean that I was in an environment that wasn't really healthy for me, surrounded by a lot of people with unhealthy habits who I allowed to influence me. And I kind of lost my sense of self and was playing a different role of someone who I didn't resonate with on a spiritual level. Someone who reminded me of my past self, heavily getting into substances again, and just not really caring about the things that really mean something to me. The last time I tried to film this video was just a couple days ago and I was laying in a hammock and when I went back and rewatched everything, I realized how much of a tangent I went on. So I don't want to sit here and just ramble about all these different subjects and you can't really keep up with me and then at the end of the video you're a little bit confused. So what I wanna do is just say that I'm doing a lot better. I've moved from Lake Louise to Banff within the last couple of months. I moved here on May 1st and today I'm filming this and hopefully getting it uploaded tomorrow and it is the 18th of July today. Oh God. There's so many mosquitoes here at this park and I just came here to quickly film this because me and my housemates are making some vegan green Thai curry. So I'm really excited to go home and eat that. I just wanted to come here and finally just film a little tidbit to wrap up this video because I have some footage that I really wanna show you of me just doing yoga on the pier here, show you the mountains, going cycling and some hiking and just some fun stuff that I threw together. It's not really in a format or in time sequences. It's kind of just footage that I've had that I haven't done anything with, so I just kind of threw it all together. Yes, I cut my hair. Also, I got a tattoo. I'm gonna go more into this in another video because it has such a deep, powerful meaning to me. So I have this piece and I also have a piece of Sanskrit right here. So I'll go into that in another one. But I just wanted to check in and let you know that I'm doing a lot better. I feel really good. I'm back to being almost fully sober. I am kind of like, marijuana is a little bit of a part of my life. I'm not gonna front with that. But I'm not drinking, I'm not doing hard drugs, I'm not whatever, and you're probably very confused because the last time that you may saw my videos, if you're an old subscriber, maybe you're a new one. If you are a new one, then yeah, I have been sober for quite a while until I moved to Lake Louise. Now when I say sober, I'm talking mainly alcohol. I quit drinking alcohol about four years ago and I quit hard drugs about two and a half years ago. So I'll be very honest, marijuana has been a part of my life for quite a while now. And I got back into everything that I quit a while ago. I got back into drinking, I got back into drugs, I got back into smoking cigarettes, and as much as that is shameful for me to say, I'm just gonna be honest and let you know that, yes, I have preached a lot of things in the past, and I came into alignment with myself in Hawaii and was the best version of myself. And you know what? Sometimes we make mistakes and sometimes we get into habits that don't serve us and mildly lose ourselves. But what I got from this experience was, Maybe I had to lose myself in order to find myself again because it's been a process of really coming back to me, what's important to me, my goals, what I wanna work on because I wasted so much time. That's a huge reason as to why I wasn't posting was because I just, I just wasn't proud of the person I was, the actions that I was taking part in, and I just didn't feel genuine. I didn't feel really happy. I was kind of just hazing and sleepwalking through life. So I almost felt like if I were to come on film, just because of the way that I was so eccentric and so here and connected, I felt like I would be portraying this unauthentic sense of self that really just wasn't true. I felt like I would have had to fake a smile. And you know what, sometimes we go through this. I know that my bio said videos every week and I abandoned that and if you want to say whatever about it, that's fine, but I'm human and we all go through stuff and that's just a little tidbit of what I've been going through. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna write down a list of ideas of subjects I wanna talk about and really dive deep in each video. And just to give you a quick little idea on the subjects that I'll be talking about, it'll be things to do with my health, how I've cleared up my skin, how I have been treating my body in order to boost my energy levels and also just a lot of emotions that I've been going through and a lot of bad habits and past 
patterns that I've realized are holding me back in life that I am trying to work through and change so that I can evolve from that and not be stuck in these patterns forever. Because man, once you realize that you're doing certain things in your life that you're not even conscious of, you realize how much of a box you put yourself in. And I have so much to share, too much that I don't want to get into it now or else it'll just be another tangent that I'll go off on. And I don't want to have you sitting there just hearing me blab about all these different things at once because it'll be a little overwhelming. I want to connect with you guys again and I really want to share my life because my life has been so amazing and I've been so blessed but that's not to say that I haven't been going through a lot of stuff so cut my hair got a tattoo I don't know it's this little shift of change and this representation of change is helping push me into a new light and that may sound silly but for me, it's doing good. So I just wanted to say hey, and I hope that you guys are all doing wonderful. And if you're having a hard time in your life and you're maybe not too happy, one thing that I realized when I got into that state was I was coming from a lack of gratitude. I forgot to say thank you for the little things. I forgot to acknowledge the fact that it is a blessing to be alive when we wake up in the morning. That's not something that just happens every day, but we take it for granted because so far, that's what we've been given. So I got to that point where I was kind of just monotoned. I felt like a little bit of a zombie and I just didn't feel like myself at all. So I tried to take a look at my life and say, okay, what have I not been doing or what have I been doing to refrain me from being the happiest version of myself? And I realized that a lot of it came from that lack of gratitude and appreciation for life. Regardless of the situation we're in, we can always change it, even if it seems a little bit impossible sometimes. And I know that that is really hard to remember when things can get really rough, but when things do get hard, it's not about what happens to us, it's how we react to them. So taking baby steps in the right direction by just taking care of ourselves is step one and the number one because that's the one thing that I pushed to the back burner and I didn't really care about. I wasn't taking care of myself. I was treating my body like crap and in turn, you're gonna feel like crap if you do that. So here I am, happier than I have been in months Everything is coming into alignment slowly but surely. I've attracted some really amazing people into my life that I do want to share with you. One in particular, my dearly beloved. If you saw my last video, that was about him. His name's Adam and he is such a precious soul to me. Is he my boyfriend? No. Is he my best friend? Yes. We came into alignment at the most divine time and I can't wait to share more with you just because he is open to actually sitting on camera and talking to you guys and expressing this beautiful, unique love that we share. So with that being said, I'm gonna hop off, I'm gonna go home and eat some really yummy vegan food with my housemates and edit this, get it out to you guys. It's not gonna be anything too special, but do know that my inspiration to create and film and share is starting to kick back in. Even just sitting here and expressing right now is healing for me, in a sense. And over the last two weeks, um, I haven't been really on YouTube, especially like even looking at it. And I re-downloaded my YouTube Studio Creator app and I realized how much my subscriber count went up and the money that came with that. And you have no idea how blessed I am for that because right now I'm working two jobs. I just got a second job today. I'm serving at a really awesome restaurant at one place and then I'm a supervisor at this little like hiking slash sports shop. I'm working a lot. I'm saving a lot of money because I am going to school in the fall. I know if you're someone who watched my videos, you know how much I preach that I would never go to school. But here I am because during this last season in the mountains this winter, I found a passion and I don't want to give too much away because I really, really want to get into it in another one and just share my feelings on that topic because it's something that's really important to me. But for now, I'm going to cut this short. I hope you enjoy these next couple clips and I'll see you in the next video. Mwah. It is 5.15 a.m. and I just stepped out of my front door <laughs> to go skate down to the lake to do some morning yoga and we have some friends. It's a typical day in Banff.
this was so worth waking up early. I'm just laying on this pier right now. The yoga mat as a pillow. Check this out. Oh, 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 oh. oh what a life. Mm. up you can get a ride down <laughs> hello <laughs> we're gonna go get some spontaneous tattoos which is something I've never done before but I mean why not am I right <laughs> why not Understand. 